Good afternoon. I guess I could take this down. Good afternoon. We're in the car. Um, it's seven. Just got to property. Probably like 10, 15 minutes ago. Um, first day of the Festival of the Arts. But we were, we're here at Epcot. We tried getting into the park. Well, we didn't get very far. So James was not in a very good mood just now. And I think that's half the battle. Uh, not battle, but half the game of being a parent is just kind of dealing with the ebb and flows of how your baby's feeling. So we came back to the car to um, give him a snack, maybe make sure his diaper's clean and everything, and see if he kind of chills a little bit before we go back in. Might go to bassinet, might do carrier. Um, we'll see, but we're all happy. The festival right. has returned, and we're all here together. Yeah. So happy Friday! Happy Friday! found the paint by numbers already. Do I know what my favorite part of this festival is? Watching the fact people. That Donald Trump got banned from Twitter today? <laughs> that yes. But particularly for this festival is that you see people walking out with really big boxes of art that they bought because they're awesome. And you know it's fun. just gonna incorporate so much magic into their home. Yeah. And it's all social distance. It's so cool. This is always a favorite. It's in this little area this year instead of over here. I thought we were going together. Because Citrus Blossom is there always and forever. It is a part of real Epcot now. <laughs> it has never left. They just need to give it a, a brick building. Yeah. We snuck up here to just take a peruse to the top of Canada because they have a stand down there where all the merchandise is being sold. But we just love the store and we can't wait for it to open. And cookies, maple cookies. I want, did we check if they're being sold down there? I don't know, it's kind of a small stand. True. I also just love walking up here and we don't often because it's like, it takes a hike because it's stairs. Also, but, we have to keep moving. Yes. Because this little dude has not fallen back asleep and he's just like fighting it. He's just fighting it. So he calmed down enough for us to come in, but he's just fighting the sleep. So. I'll show you. Peter says it's toasty in there. It's like, it's like 57 degrees <laughs> outside. It's a little chilly for us Floridians. So this is celebrating five years and we've been here every single time. So our trip in 2017 was the year we moved, but we came here that February and then we've lived here since. That's so, crazy. Sarah just said when we were discussing the dates. You're the blurriest you've ever been. Okay, here you go. Sarah said when we were discussing the dates that because of that reason, we will have to come down here every Festival of the Arts. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is my favorite building in all of Epcot. What? Yeah, I know that's a weird no. thing to say. It is. No. Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's easy. Uh, that's, a, that's a state of mind. A state of being. <laughs> One, the Larry Dotson's over there. Two, look at this sequence up here. I'm trying to film Sarah so it doesn't look like we're filming artwork. And then there's artwork. And there's a real Larry Dotson back there. The real deal. Sarah just said the funniest thing she's ever said. She goes, how we're at Festival Favorites. Remy's Ratatouille is there. And she goes, how is Remy's Ratatouille the Festival Favorites? I haven't even been in the festival. It's brand new this year. It's oh. plant based. It's five dollars. I'm gonna get it. I cannot be blamed for this. James made me do it. He made me get in line for the Ratatouille. I've also never had it before, so when James said, Dad, can we please get the ratatouille? I said, of course. Of course we can. We're doing it while Sarah's running to the bathroom. Shh, don't tell her. What the heck? I actually have on our grocery list ingredients to make ratatouille. Really? Yeah. I've never had it before. Me neither. Anyone can cook. She's diving in the ratatouille. Let's see if she goes into a dream sequence of her childhood, like they do in the movie. Does it bring you back to a small town in Italy? Or France? It's tasty. I can't believe it's our fifth Festival of the Arts. It makes me so happy. I know. 
What's crazy is Mom makes something like this. It's got mushrooms? Yeah. Um, the recipe that I saw didn't have mushrooms on it. But, oh. um, Mom makes something very similar to this, but I feel like it is very just like tomato-y, veggie. You look like a movie star right now. A movie star? You know, the lighting in here, a little bit of bokeh going on. It's not hot. Oh, I'm sorry. And what do you think? I think it's really good. I'm kind of... I'm not upset by any means. That's a dra dramatic <laughs> statement. Um, I've never had it before. Uh -huh. But we've definitely had pretty much this uh -huh. in our plant-based home cooking. Yeah. It's it just is very chopped up similar. vegetables, sauteed in some tomato. Yeah, which this is, is like, like Italian meats plant-based. Yeah. yeah, a go-to So it is really good. Um, yeah. It wasn't the hottest, but it, they looked like they were sitting there, so I would probably get it again before this festival's over, just yeah. to hopefully get a really fresh one. Yeah, or I'm going to cook it. Oh, and then you can say, I'm better than the festival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so beautiful, I don't even know where to start or what it is. Oh. It's so glittery. glittery. Yeah. It was delectable. I ate my half in five seconds. I'm going to eat mine in 4.5 seconds. It's already seconds. been 12 in this class. Um, look at this painting. This is secretly Sarah, me, and Eve in the future. And even the calendar says August when we got married. So cute. My little closed eye. Fifth anniversary. Eat, sleep, or repeat. That's the title of the book. Now those pigments are so cute. The most beautiful, crispy, pretty looking thing it's, I've ever seen. Right, I love it's just it. so satisfying to watch. I could watch it all day. It made, it, it made me go, Sarah, should I get a pigment tattoo? She said no. For my birthday? No. You're already having a different Epcot tattoo. True. Me and a friend are going to get it, I think, at the same time. Peter came over to the light for a picture. I have to send this to my friend Dom. Yeah, he it's lives the, in Canada. <laughs> it's from the Canada booth, and it's the mushroom risotto. We loved it every other year it's before we were even mushroom crazy like we are now. I mean, maybe what if this is the turning point for me? Maybe. What, I have to tell your mom. Yeah. This is what changed my my mushroom. I used to hate mushrooms. Yeah. I love mushrooms. Yeah. You're I love this now. risotto. Yeah. I'm an old man. Um, so let's see if she does it for the third bite. She's done two bites so far. It's the third. She's, mm. No, that was fake. <laughs> the first two were authentically just gut reaction. Ooze. I just, this is my favorite food. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be plant based these days, but just I'm, be you. I'm mostly plant based. You're, anyways, you are Sarah, and you eat what you want to eat. This is like, this is my ratatouille. Chronic moment. moment, yeah, because my dad eat it and then get blasted back in the time. <laughs> my dad, we would have like a big block of Parmesan cheese at the dinner table. My dad would have the cheese grater, and he would just do massive slices and pass them around. So good, and it's hot. So did you just eat that yourself and not go get my own? No. It's our wedding song. Come here, my love. This is our wedding song. That couple that just walked past was super embarrassed by us just now. Embarrassed by us? Yeah. Like they had like secondhand embarrassment. And I said, piss posh. So sorry that shot was so blurry, but sometimes you just gotta keep shots in even if they're blurry because- Life isn't perfect. My best stinks from that cheese. <laughs> in the mask? Yeah. <laughs> Pop eats, girl. Pop eats. I love the dessert. Is it back? Let's see. The problem is that this is our favorite festival and we're, we need to spread out our eating. Yeah. Because I want to get it all. Oh, that's new, I think. Tomato soup? Not the, um, not the dessert, which is my favorite. It's only 4 dollars for my birthday. For your birthday? So this is the Lost Bros Guide to the Festival booth. And the tomato soup is new. I just assumed that if it wasn't new, it was because we were like strictly plant-based last year. Um, but yeah, both those options are new this year. <laughs> I'm wishing, I'm wishing for a Sugar Boo calendar. And we found one ah! at the Sugar Boo booth at Festival of the Arts, which is only oh here during the festival. Oh I saw it and gosh. I was like, I'm the one, I'm, I wonder. Sarah so was like, let's just go there real quick. And it was like on the bottom, they're closing up last one. Right at nine o'clock. We got it. Thanks for visiting us today. <laughs> just we just been strolling 
We'll have to wait and show you the showcase menus a different day. Should we leave a comment down below? Should we watch Brother Bear when we get home or Frozen 2? That comment won't actually mean anything because we're gonna watch it tonight. But still, kind of a What did you we think know. we were gonna watch? Yeah, and then, wait, what was I gonna say? I screamed in that baby's ear just now. This festival is tough because you wanna film the art, but like, it's like, do you, are you allowed to film I the art? I think you're allowed to, I just don't think you're supposed to. Yeah, so it's like. Like, it's not courteous. I'm always just like ready to show it, but. We're trying to be courteous and respectful of the artists. Right. I love the snowflakes so much. I love Sarah the snow. Sarah loves a good topsy turvy. I do. I want. Are the other shops open? Nope. The perfume? None of them. None? No, it's closed. I feel like they are because we haven't been here after, like, before park closed. Why are you so close to me? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this just go? Oh, focus, my friend. Three, two, back foot. Ready, set, go. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. We think we found art. we found one too. Because we were in Germany and I was like, Sarah, look at there's a... Uh, Pascal. Pascal, is that part of the Festival of the Arts? And look at, look at those the kitty cats. Kitties. Eve is definitely their mom. <laughs> <laughs> these shots. I want to go in these shots. It's they funny smell because... smell like a headache. They do. I keep waking him up because <laughs> I'm like talking. My older sister Jenna used to go in here and I'd be like, oh, I spend all this time and you're a teenager and I don't care. About perfume from Francois. <laughs> so we're in the back of the UK pavilion and they have all these easels and this is done by Maurice and it's all invention like with Belle. And then we got Donald. This is typically the Mexico Pavilion. I think this is just a cute touch. This is a cute artsy fartsy area. What do we got over here? Oh, love that charcoal. When I did charcoal in art school, I'd make such a mess. Yes. My best friend Lauren can attest to that in the comments, Lauren, if you're if you're watching this. Oh, that was quite rock. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous. Aurora. Aurora. Never oh, Flora made it. No, Meriwether, see? Because it's pink and blue and pink and blue. And then Snow White, the fairest of them all. <gasps> Look at Peter Pan's shadow. Oh, Robin Hood and Land of Time, welcome to the forest. Back and back and forth about the other day. Good night, first night of the Festival of the Arts here at Epcot Center. You are our favorite festival. We love you dearly. We will return many a times and eat many of foods and look at many of arts. Oh, chalk. Oh, chalk. Oh, chalk. Oh. Why is chalk so fun? Oh, so sorry, Mickey. That oh, is sorry. chalk. Oh, no. So cute. Lee is the best. Oh, Lee is the best. This is the best chalk art I've ever seen. Oh, and this is the pretty one we saw. Oh, yeah. the Enchanted Rose. Um, I watched Beauty and the Beast today and Belle is gutsy. She yes. goes into the West Wing and not only does she go into the West Wing, she takes the glass and is reaching to touch the rose. Maybe she was enchanted by it. Maybe the rose oh was being evil and calling her to ruin it to seal the, the person. Oh my gosh, Peter. Just saying. That's, a, that's, like, that's the plot of Sleeping Beauty. Touch it. <laughs> Touch it, I think. I thought you came up with this. <laughs> I really did, though. Unless subconsciously I did that. Unless you're being enchanted. <laughs> Hi, Evie. She's, she's smelling our tea. She wants some. You comfy or what? <laughs> I wish I was that comfy and asleep right now. Okay, our friends Sean, Caroline, and Dave sent us some tea. This is orange chocolate tea. Interesting. Interesting. I tried it already. Can you hand me the other one, please? This, yes. That's the one Sarah picked? Yeah, it's, it's like strangely, I don't know, rich. I think this is gingerbread. This is gingerbread. I'm excited for this one. Excuse that pillow over there. 
Eve bit the zipper when she was a puppy. Ooh. Delectable. Wait till you try that. That gingerbread is good. We're gonna apartment hunt for a little and go to bed. Yeah. Kind of like earlier than usual. A little bit. We plan on going earlier to the park tomorrow. We also need to go grocery shopping. Um, but this will be good so I can get up and edit and we can go. Ooh, look at this clean, fresh calendar. There's two years ago. I looked it over, same messaging, same daily messages, but that's perfectly okay because we haven't read these messages in two years. So we're okay with that. So, and we wanted the new one because then everything where it's like, hey, Levi turned eight on January 4th, two years ago. Well, now he turned 10. So we need to update that and redo it for the next two years. So we have two more years of daily messages. Will you be here in two years? going through all these daily messages. It's wild to think that we've been vlogging this long and especially with the move back to Chicago coming in the near future and us continuing the vlog there because it's not about Disney, it's about the Brookhearts, it's about our daily life. And we've loved sharing it with you, the goods and the bads. Um, getting through life with all of you together. Had a, had a heartfelt message on our Facebook discussion group today about um, a viewer of ours who had a nice comment, an unfortunately comment that I wish she didn't have to make about she never thought that she would need the services that we fundraise for in ACS, but she had found out that she was diagnosed and she um, appreciates that fundraising we do even more. And we, we gave her, you know, our sentiments and, and gave her our contact of um, our ACS people to see if they can help her with anything she needs. Um, but it's these things and our goods and our bads and everything and we're excited to go in this next two years we're excited to bring you on the move to chicago and to show you living in our city um, but sarah and james are asleep we we'll do the message we're going to get ready for bed because it is late today is january 8th the quote is by mother Teresa: do small things with great love i love it with that it is good to be home Christina's gonna see an apartment for us tomorrow. So as you're watching this, Sarah's sister will be at an apartment in Chicago viewing it for us to see if it's uh, everything we're hoping and dreaming for. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.